It's a conversation that many people say should have happened much sooner, bridging the gap between police and the community. Good evening, I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. These conversations are happening all across the country, including right here at home. News Channel Line's Jerry Askin is here now with what local law enforcement is doing to better gain the trust of residents. Jerry. Well, that's right. During my time here as a reporter, I've sadly covered several murders on the crime scene. Many folks tell me they simply don't trust the police, and many are afraid to, quote, snitch. Today, a sheriff's deputy tells me he's hoping to bridge that gap. It's inspirational that you have actual police who care for your safety and your well-being. Tyner High School senior Cedric Pfeiffer sat alongside his peers today, all of them hoping to bridge the gap between police and their community. It is important because they're here for your safety. Um, some people might not trust them, but they are here for your safety, and that is the most important thing. That is the worst thing. James Brock is a patrolman for the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office. He's also working as the school's resource officer. Today, he spoke to these juniors and seniors at Tyner High to help them gain a better connection with police. They see me here, and they become, okay, he's human too. He's, he's got feelings. He's, he understands problems. He has problems himself. He's not perfect. And then when they run into police officers on the street, they'll treat them differently, hopefully. Respectfully. Everybody say respectfully. respectfully. Patrick Hampton oversees a local mentorship program. He organized today's conversation. Because I believe as a community, we need to be proactive uh, about informing our young people about how the police operates and how they should respond to the police. Even outside this classroom, residents say a better connection with police could help solve crimes. All police are not bad, all police are not good. People are just people, so you have to look at them from that and don't take judgment. Pfeiffer just wants everyone to hear this. They are here for your safety and for your well-being. And those Tyner High School teens you just saw in the video are in the Goodwill Mentoring Program. To find out more, just head over to newschannel9.com. Latricia. Jerry, we've heard a lot about the Violence Reduction Initiative here in Chattanooga. Was that part of the discussion at all today? You know, not really, but they're definitely considering that as well to just make sure the gap is, is bridged, to make sure everyone is safe and bridge that gap for sure. All right. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Jerry, thanks.